I know I said in the last video that I wasn't going to do one that I haven't played, but I've read a lot of them, so I'm like, eh. Well, played and, you know, like, seen played and stuff. But I read a lot into this one because I've wanted a reason to play Bard. <laughs> and I can't find one still. So often I find myself searching through the subclasses thinking, where can I find a good one? <laughs> and granted, I've made some good Bard builds, but they've often just not worked with the rest of the party in terms of what we've eventually came up with for the end. So yeah, today we're going to be talking about College of Valor, which is one of my favorites. It's primarily because of flavor. It's not particularly that powerful or anything too much. Uh, it has some neat flavor and it also has some cool um, additional things that it allows the bard to do outside of their spellcasting and stuff like that. In the Discord, some people were not happy about this, but I said that bards are like the weakest spellcasters, primary spellcasters, uh, and I stand by that wholeheartedly. Granted, they have some cool spells, but they have like half as many as every other class, and it's a lot more situational. So Valor takes that and they're like, all right, let's make them a little cooler outside of that. There is one feature that allows you to bounce off some spell stuff, but it gives you more of a reason to cast spells, basically. So yeah, uh, the College of Valor, I could best interpret as kind of like, pictured like in those old wars where there's like the guy at the front of the line just banging drums or something, that's you. They're often like war type bards who charge into battle with their fellows and inspire them through either music or speeches or whatever else they can think of. And uh, Valor bards become sick. Regular bards get proficiency in light armor and a few select so like weapons, so like long swords, rapiers, I think there's a couple of others, but they're like the two main ones that I think of when I think Bard. And a Valor Bard becomes the Chad Bard because they get proficiency with medium armor, shields, and martial weapons. So the, now they can have really good AC because one of the areas I think the Bard struggles in is their uh, armor class, like with only proficiency in light armor and very little ways to mitigate damage outside of their spellcasting. I think that having medium armor and a shield proficiency is really good. So on average, you can bump up your AC as a bard to like 18 at level three. That's nice. Um, there are a lot of these features that I feel like could be better earlier on. So like having extra proficiencies to add on, uh, Cleric does this, but it's level one that you get your subclass. Similarly, Warlock as well, like with the Hexblade and stuff like that, giving you a bonus proficiency in a bunch of different gear at level three. If you've played a campaign starting at one or two, means that you're gonna have to put in some effort to get that equipment rather than just, you know, being able to start with it. Plus, bards don't get any starting equipment that involves shields or medium armor. In terms of a bard build with this, I'd still recommend keeping that dex high uh, at least 14 of course because medium armor you could also take medium armor master and stack that up to like a 16 dex so that you can add plus three instead of plus two if you really wanted to do that and then also it means that you can run around with half plate on and not have disadvantage so their late game build will have you having 20 ac without any magic stuff considered not bad at all would it be 20 yeah 20 just double checking that uh, and hey, you can pile other stuff on there, fighting styles, uh, spells, etc, etc. Because bards can take shield of faith if they want, and shield, or something like that. They're cool like that with their magical secrets. I think this also, uh, having proficiency with like all martial weapons, is really good. I think the, the kind of idea around it is that it gives you more to attack with as well, rather than just your ca cantrips, because bards are easily the worst spellcasting class for cantrips in terms of their combat utility at least they get thunderclap vicious mockery and they're the only two i can think of that do damage thunderclap is a d6 and it makes a massive noise vicious mockery is the worst damage cantrip it's iconic though so i mean all bards got to take it and i mean <laughs> even uh rich playing a warlock with his uh tome pact still took vicious mockery when he could that's a good player it's great. Just the idea of insulting someone and it hurts is just great. I don't know why you wouldn't take it. Their other third level feature is combat inspiration. So, the, this feature, a lot of it's been taken out because there is an optional Tatches feature now that I believe lets anyone with your Bardic Inspiration use it for healing, 
or damage. And the main shtick of the Valabard is that you can, with your inspiration now, give people your inspiration to damage. That is completely mitigated unless your DM doesn't run the Tasha's rules, which I don't know why they wouldn't. The Tasha's rules are great. Gives gives some classes some extra neat flares. Monk in particular, I like that. And yeah, it, it kind of functions like a, like a smite sort of thing, so you can apply it afterwards. So if they wanted to save it up for a crit or something, then they bam, 2d6 extra, sure. But other than that, it has been made completely moot. However, the other part of this feature is not, because I think that when they were coming up with that optional feature, they were like, well, Valabard already does it. How about, you know, we don't do the other thing? Which is, when a creature's being attacked, it can roll your Bardic Inspiration if they have it, and increase their AC uh, against that one attack by that number. It says here, after seeing the roll, but before knowing whether it hits or misses, which is... I mean, if your DM rolls in the open and says what, like, well that's a 7 plus and so, or something like that, then I, I, I personally don't do that. With, um, with my games, I roll entirely in the open, but announce modifiers the moment I can, basically. So this is moot in my games, uh, in terms of the... Um, Thingy. So I would say even after they know the result, they can still roll that d6 or d8 or d10 or d12 wherever it gets to. Just for the sake of ease, you know. This is one of the reasons I love Valor. Swords gets this too. Eh. But Swords is just Valor, but um, better. Better. Uh, <laughs> uh, at 6th level, you get multi-attack. The same as Fighters do at 5th, Paladins do at 5th, Rangers do at 5th, Barbarians do at 5th, Monks do at 5th. Five classes get it. And then sometimes there are other subclasses that get it as well, like uh, Hexblade. Uh, no, Hexblade don't get it. There's a lot of things that get extra attack, and Valabard has joined the ranks. I think it's cool. The extra attack lets it not only scale up with how cantrips would normally scale, but if you have, say, 16 dexterity and you're walking around with a rapier, you're doing an average of 16 damage with no resources used, granted you roll completely average. Which is cool, I think. Better than, uh, you know, the other cantrips. Thunderclap is cool, situationally. Like, if you're surrounded, that sort of thing. And finally, because bards apparently suck massive balls. <laughs> I'm joking, bards are great. But they need to wait eight levels for another subclass feature. Clerics have to wait nine, though, to be fair. Uh, nevertheless, at 14th level, you get battle magic. Where, when you cast a bard spell with your action, you can make one weapon attack as a bonus action. At 14th level, that isn't going to be massive, but if you have, like, a particular weapon that you think needs to hit, so for the purposes of breaking someone's concentration, or perhaps it has an effect that you really want to go off, then you can still feel like you're being useful by using your action to do something else. Okay, that's cool. You could, like, polymorph yourself into, like, a massive beast or something, and then with that polymorph, immediately use your bonus action to make a weapon attack with that creature or something. That sounds cool. I'd allow that. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of ways you can get creative with this. Uh, and I like that. The last feature lets you get a lot more creative. The rest are just kind of mini buffs and stuff. My favorite features are the ones where it gives the player like infinitely more possibilities in terms of their kit. And allows them to cook up some weird crazy combos. Okay, so that's Valor. I mentioned uh, the elephant in the room, which is swords, which was kind of literally just... Hey, you guys said that Valabard wasn't that good. Here's College of Swords, where you get to add your Bardic Inspiration to, uh, like, damage rolls that also create a bunch of cool effects, etc, etc. And I like it, don't get me wrong, I just feel like other classes do it too. And sometimes do it better, if you know what I mean. But hey! If you want that flair, go for swords too. I, I would personally take Valor over swords purely because of the way that I play. I like to like stay in the front lines, and a bard like this can. Because I, I like, I don't know, surviving. I like being in the front and feeling the action a lot more intensely, rather than just watching other people uh, be affected by it. So yeah, that's at least how I play. Uh, if this was helpful to you at all, and you're a little more interested in playing a uh, Malabard, I did my job. If you like the video, then like it, and you can also subscribe. We make a buttload of videos. I think this is our longest going... No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> Dragon Heist and Kaiser Strider, our longest going series. But this one is a close second along those two. So yeah, we do those. I, I do a lot of tips for DMs and stuff, but this one is for the players. Sometimes for the DMs too. We also have a Discord you can join in the description where we can talk about stuff or you can comment. We can talk about stuff there if you want. 
I don't care. I mean, common gives me algorithm. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 